watch our video on YouTube and Facebook. And hello, YouTube people. How are you? Thank you for joining this class again. And I see lots of comments. And we, I see lots of our regular students. Zenzo, Zen Nice Yuzo, and Coria, Bangtan Sonyan Das Angel, Steve Lu. Thank you. It's great to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. 안녕하세요, Salula, and Beyond the Scene. Wow, you guys are joining every week. <laughs> okay, so it's great. So today we are going to talk about October in Korea. Do you know what's happening in October in Korea? And what festivals you can visit, or what holidays are there? Do you know about them? So today I'm going to talk about that. And one thing that I can tell you is October is a great month to visit Korea. So if you consider traveling in Korea, I would recommend October. So let's look at it very soon. And before the class start, I want to tell you something. So in the board, I'm going to use lots of Hangul. Hangul. Hangul means the Korean alphabet. And if you know this Korean alphabet, this lesson will be very easy. And the Korean alphabet is really easy to learn. I have 20 minutes video on this, um, on this link and you can just watch it. Then you can memorize all this. Ta-da! all this Korean alphabet, Korean consonant and Korean vowel. So please check it out. And you can also download this Hangul, Hangul work worksheet for free. So I hope this is very useful. So please remember this is completely free. And then October 9th, October 9th is Hangul Lai. That means Hangul Day. So to celebrate the day, please check it out. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys find it really useful. And let's start. So first, do you know how to say October? October? It's 시월. But if you are a beginner, probably you'll be wondering because this is exception. For example, in Korean, in Korean, if you want to say the name of the month, you just say the number, like how many, uh, like, for example, October is 10th month, right? 10th month, so 10, and then just say, war. This is how we say the month in Korea. For example, if it's just January, it's first month, right? First, then put one and say war. It's 1월. So if you follow this rule, this should be 10월, 10월. But ooh, this is exception. This is not 10월. We just say 10월, 10월, 10월. Even though the number 10 in Korean is 10, and we usually just put 월 after the number, it's not 10월, it's 10월. This is exception. So please remember. And is there another exception in the month? Yes this my birth month <laughs> so this is you word if you just read it the number and then word together but ooh, this is exception so you just say you are so june is you are not you are but some korean people even make mistake so if you know this, you are smarter than native Korean people. So <laughs> please remember, June is you are, not you girl. And this October is she were, not she were. So she what is great. It's great word to remember. Okay, so next. Ta -da. So if you think about visiting, Korea in October. You have to know the weather, right? Weather in Korean is 날씨. 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 날씨 means weather. How was the weather like? ta -da! We prepared this. So I know in some countries they use Fahrenheit. 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 <laughs> and then in Korea we use Celsius. So I'll explain it in Celsius. So Please see the 
Fahrenheit number here. That on Seoul. Seoul is the capital of Korea. And it's below 20 degree. So it's pretty good, but this is the highest temperature. And the lowest temperature you see is 8 degrees, pretty cold. And the temperature is very different. The gap is more than 10 degree differences, right? So the day to night temperature fluctuates a lot. So make sure to wear layers if you visit Korea. So if you feel hot, you can just take, take it off. If you feel cold, just wear the coat or cardigan. So I wouldn't recommend boots, long boots or uh, sandals. It might be too hot and cold. So we just wear sneakers or just normal uh, shoes is fine. And let's see other cities, Daegu. Busan, Jeju. Do you know where, where are they? <laughs> so I will draw the Korean map. I hope I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it looks something like this. And then this is capital of South Korea, Seoul, Seoul. And Daegu is something like this. Daegu. Daegu is something like this. And then you see Busan is southern, here, here. And then Jeju is this one, Jeju, Jeju. So, yes, so Seoul is northern part of South Korea, so it's colder. But if you see Daegu, Busan, Jeju is quite southern part of South Korea, so it's warmer, but it's still around 21 degree and the lowest temperature is like 9, 12, 13 degrees. So please remember this. Then when you wear Korean clothes, you can carry a coat or warm cardigan in case you feel so cold or hot. So you can change. And also please remember that in October, it sometimes rains, and after the rain, the temperature drops dramatically, and you will feel so cold. So, yes, again, layer. <laughs> layer is the keyword. And bring the umbrella if you visit Korea, but you can always buy cheap umbrella in con convenience store. It will be just one to three dollars. It's transparent. And well, maybe you cannot use for a long time, but it's cheap, so you don't have to worry about that. Yes, and this is the temperature, and October is the month that Korean people think the autumn finally starts. Okay, so let's move on. Ta -da! Yes, I just talked about Hangul Lai. Hangul Lai is Hangul Day, it's one of the public holidays in Korea. What is public holiday? It is 공휴일. 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 Oh, Destiny Kawaii Life. 안녕하세요. It's my first time to join the Korean class. Wow. My friend recommended this YouTube channel. That's great. Thank. Please say thank you to your friends. Can I download the lessons, teacher? Thank you. Well, firstly, you can download this Hangul practice cheat sheet just by clicking on the link in the description and we will upload this YouTube and Facebook video on our channel so you can always watch it over and over again so please check it out and Salulia, 저는 미국 사람입니다 you are America and 저는 한국 사람입니다 I'm Korean and Christine Cesar 공휴인 nice job so I'll show you lots of Korean words. So if you see it, please practice typing. It's a great practice. So please. <laughs> so 휴일 means holiday and 공, 공 actually means public. So if you see anything related to public, like public workers, then you will see this word 공, 공 always because 공 means public. 공휴일, 공휴일, this is public holiday. And first holiday that I want to talk about is not Hangul날, but it's 개천절. 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 Um, Valeria 
Beltrin said, like Chuseok. Chuseok is a great one. Chuseok is based on lunar calendar. So it's sometimes in September, sometimes in October. But this year it was in September. So I didn't include that. And we already talked about Chuseok before. So if you are interested in learning about the Chuseok holiday, the biggest holiday in Korea, which is Thanksgiving in Korea, <laughs> then check out our YouTube and Facebook video. The first one is Kechonjol. Yes, Caesar. Koreana, 안녕하세요. <laughs> and National Foundation Day is Kechonjol. Kechonjol. Yes. So this day was yesterday, October third. October third. Kechonjol. Kechonjol. K literally means open, open, and Chon means sky or heaven. And Jol means day. So it literally means the day, the heaven or sky opened. Kechonjol. Kechonjol. Tina Shinghania. Hey, I'm from India. I really like Korean people. Thank you. <laughs> and your videos help a lot to learn Korean language. That's good to hear that. If you know any Korean friends, any, any friends who want to learn Korean, you can also recommend this channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Gaechonjo a little bit. So he is Dangun Wanggom, Dangun Wanggom, and he was the son of a woman who used to be a bear. What? <laughs> yes, it's a legend. And his father is God, and named Hwanung. So his father is Hwanung, and his mother used to be a bear but become a human how so there was actually there were two animals bear and tiger and they wanted to be a human being so they asked the god Hwanung, we want to be a human so the god Hwanung said okay then if you stay in a cave for 100 days and then if you eat only garlic and mugwort, then you will be a human. So be bear stayed in the cave for 100 days and only ate garlic and mugwort, but unfortunately tiger failed. So tiger said, oh my God, I can't stand this garlic and mugwort for 100 days. I can't. And then just gave up and run away. But the bear, bear, <laughs> bear stand it. And then become a human and marry with the god and then the son is this Tangun Wanggong Tangun Wanggong and then yes he is the person who started who founded this country Korea Korea so this is very special day because it's national foundation day and then do you know when it happened according to the legend it happened is this country started in 2333 <laughs> BC it's really long time ago right wow long time ago yes so it's this one yes korea started this day and at that time, the name was not Korea. It was Joseon. 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 But do you know that? Uh, what is his name? Kim Si Reynolds said. His name is Dan Gun Wanggom. Dan Gun Wanggom. Tangun Wanggom. Tangun Wanggom and smile. <laughs> Thank you, King, <laughs> to form this nation. Okay, so the name was Joseon at first. But do you know Joseon right before um, this Republic of Korea? So 100 years ago, 200 years ago, this the name of this country was Joseon. So this Joseon and this long time old Joseon, has same name, so it's confusing. So people put Go here, Go. Go means old or previous, so Go Joseon, 
고조선. So this country's name was 고조선. 고조선. Yes, 좋나. Yes, good job. And then 고조선. So the country name was 고조선 at that time. And also this this Korea, this country started in 강화도. 강화도. So this legend happened in 강화도. It's near the Incheon International Airport. So in National Foundation Day, we will be finding lots of events and um, the food in this area, especially. It's 강화도. 강화도. Okay, so all good? Anna. 당근 왕검. Yes, Caesar. Good job. And Deadly Fun said, Do people go to work during holidays? This is public holidays, so Korean people don't work. We don't work. Boop. <laughs> so it's 개천절. 개천절. And next holiday we are going to look at is, ta-da! Very important day for you. It's 한글날. 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 한글 means the Korean alphabet, which is ta-da! Yes! <laughs> yes, this the Korean alphabet. By the way, you can practice for free. <laughs> so please check out the link. So Hangul is the Korean alphabet. Korean alphabet. And Nal means day. But it in English name is Hangul Proclamation Day. Yeah, the day we created Hangul. When is it? It's October 9th. October 9th is next week. So on Hangul Day, please don't forget to practice Hangul <laughs> with us. <laughs> oh, Korea Ina said we need to give lots of likes. I miss teacher Chim Chim's lesson. That's true. Actually, if you give us lots of likes, oops, <laughs> teacher Chim Chim fell down. It was too shocking that he didn't get many likes recently. So, teacher Chim Chim usually prepare a special Korean slang that you cannot find in the textbook. So, but Korean people use it a lot in daily life. So he always prepare a slang lesson, but he only gave you the lesson when we get over 200 likes. But recently we didn't get many likes. So teacher Chim Chim hasn't teach you a lot. <laughs> That's sad. And he didn't even prepare the lesson today because he was so disappointed. <laughs> so next week he will be back and prepare a special lesson. So please don't forget to give us lots of likes. Likes, love, and share so teacher Chim Chim can be motivated again and teach you Korean slang lesson. So let's go back to Hangulla. Hangulla. So it was this day started in 1926. 1926. And at that time the name wasn't Hangulla. The name was different. It was Kagyanal. Ka Kya Nal. So Hangul Nal started in 1926, but at that time the name was Kagyanal. Because the Hangul alphabet started from Kyo. Kyo is this. And then the sound is like G in English. And then in English you say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And in Korean we say so this is the order. So that's why they just pick the first two letters, 가갸, and said 가갸날, 가갸날, 가갸날. <laughs> it's like tongue twister for me, 가갸날. Yes, it's 가갸날. But they changed the name to 한글날, 한글날. And... Do you know who created this Hangul alphabet? This Hangul alphabet? I think lots of people know that. Lots of people know that. It's Sejong Daewang. Sejong Daewang. Let's see. Sejong Daewang. Sejong Daewang. He's very special. This means great king. 
We don't use this Daewang great king to every single king. It's only for really great king. And Sejong is just very special, so we call him Sejong Daewang. If you see the Korean bill, um, it's around ten dollars. Ten dollars bill, which is man won. Man won is ten thousand won bill. You will find Sejong Daewang. Sejong Daewang. He created the Korean alphabet in 1446. Yes, it's really a long time ago. He created this alphabet because at that time we didn't have any alphabet to use. So we used to use Chinese alphabet. Chinese alphabet is very difficult to learn and only rich people can learn because it takes lots of time to learn and usually farmers are, and also other normal workers are so busy they don't have time to learn the alphabet. So Sejong Daewang created this alphabet, Hangul, Hangul and normal people can just write it just uh, just using this alphabet you say something and then just write what sounds like using this alphabet Hangul Hangul but Chinese character is a bit different you need to know the meaning of each character and you cannot write what I exactly say for example mm, I can make like weird sounds like Kagya, kagya. In Chinese character, without meaning, you cannot write it. But in Hangul, you just hear the sound and then just write it using ka, kya. Because this is G sound, this is A sound, this is G sound again, this is Ya sound, kagya. So you can write it as you pronounce. So Hangul alphabet is really easy to learn and even normal people in Korea could learn it. So he created it for normal people, normal workers. It's great, isn't it? And thanks to him, now we learn Hangul together, you and I. <laughs> okay, so Hangul Day is especially important for you as you are learning Hangul. And please celebrate it next week. Next topic is Tara festival! Yay! Do you like festival? There are lots of festivals in Korea in October. Festivals is 축제. 축제 in Korean. 축제 means festival. So first festival that I want to introduce you is Busan Fireworks Festival. Tara! Busan Fireworks Festival. It is Busan 불꽃 축제. Busan means, well, Busan is the second biggest city in Korea and then it's port, so you can see beautiful fireworks near the beach. Busan and 불꽃, 불꽃 means fireworks. It literally means 불 means fire and then 꽃 means flower. 축제 means, well, we just learned it's festival, so Busan fireworks festival. So it's one of the biggest events in Busan and lots of tourists visit Busan around that time to see this festival, beautiful fireworks festival. And it's just one day event, and this year, 2018, is October 27th. So if you visit Korea around that time, please don't miss this beautiful Busan 불꽃 축제. I haven't been there, so I want to visit there too. And you can see these uh, fireworks near 광, 광안리 해수욕장 광안리 해수욕장 광안리 해수욕장 광안리 해수욕장 해수욕장 means beach so if you visit if you visit here you can see this beautiful and huge fireworks festival Oh, Caesar, Teacher Jerry talked about this before. It's very interesting. Yes, Teacher Jerry also know that this is very popular. And Saula, Busan, Bruko, Chukje, good job, everyone. And next one that I'm going to talk about is, ta-da, this 
하동 부천 코스모스 메밀꽃 축제. Wow, this is long. I know. 하동, 하동 is 따라한 this. 부천 is this. So this is the name of the place in 경상도. 경상도 is well is southern, southern South Korea near Busan. 경상도. And cosmos is cosmos. This flower, right? And that 메밀꽃 is bog with flower. Bog with flower. 메밀꽃 축제 again. 축제 means festival. So 하동 북천 코스모스 메밀꽃 축제. This is very long. So can you imagine a field full of this beautiful cosmos? Well, you can find it in 하동 북천 코스모스 메밀꽃 축제. <laughs> yes, it's really beautiful. And you can also see this 메밀꽃 bog with flowers too. They do it every year and lots of Korean people and even foreigners visit there. And this festival starts from September 21st, September 21st to October 7th, October 7th. So it's ending very soon. So if you are in Korean right now, don't forget to visit this beautiful festival. Hadong Bukcheon. Cosmos Memilkot Chukje. Good job, Christine, Caesar. This is pretty long, but perfect spelling. Good job. And next one. Taran. Oops. This is actually my typo. <laughs> Sorry about that. And let me write it again. It is Taran Mindungsan. Mindungsan. Is the name of the mountain and Oksekot. Oksekot is Eulalia or this, this Chinese silver grass. Oksekot is this Chinese silver grass. And then Chukje. So you can call this Okse only too. Okse. Mindungsan Oksekot Chukje. Yes, this is the name of this festival. Sorry for the typo. <laughs> so, 민둥산 억새꽃 축제. Yes, this is the name of the festival that you can see this. It's so beautiful, isn't it? So, if you see this 억새, Chinese uh, silver grass, Korean people finally feel, wow, autumn started. Because this is one of the symbol of Korean autumn. And yes, this is Mindungsan, and it's so beautiful, isn't it? And the festival starts September 21st and ends November 4th. So you still have time to visit here, November 4th. And here, there are lots of activities such as climbing and photo competition. So please visit here, then you can visit, you can enjoy lots of other activities. And next, ta -da! This is not a festival, actually. This is night market, but I just want to recommend you to visit because it's, um, it's holding in many different places in Seoul, which is very accessible for foreign people. So it's Seoul. Well, Seoul is the name of capital city. And then 밤 도깨비. 밤 literally means night. And 도깨비. Has anyone watched the drama Tokebi? Tokebi, it means goblin. Well, it's nothing to do with the drama, but I just want to remind you <laughs> of one of my favorite Korean drama, Pam Tokebi. Yashijang. Yashijang means night market. Ya means night, and Shijang means market. So this is Seoul Pam Tokebi Yashijang. Seoul Pam Tokebi. So this market is definitely a must be visit. They start at night and then they just disappear by the morning. So you have to stay there and then enjoy lots of different um, food and activities. And also they, they also have lots of traditional products and items. So there are lots of things to enjoy. So please check it out. It starts in March 30th, March 30th, and it ends October 28th. It's, you have one month left. 
and um, you can find this night market in Yeoido or Banpo or Cheonggyecheon. Cheonggyecheon. And then Korea has really beautiful autumn leaves. So hiking is something that I want to recommend. Hiking is 등산, 등산 in Korea. And there are three mountains I want to recommend, which is 따란 설악산. 설악산 is 100, uh, 1,708 meter, and it's in Gangwon-do. It's pretty close to Seoul. So if you want to see beautiful autumn leaves, you can visit here. Or there is also a great mountain in Seoul, the capital city, which is Bukhansan. Bukhansan. Bukhansan is in Seoul and it's 836 meter. And see, you see lots of rocks here, right? Next mountain that I want to recommend is Jirisan. 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 Mount Jiri. It's 1900 15 meter and it's in Jeollado or Gyeongsangdo it's like southern South Korea so these are three mountains that you can enjoy beautiful autumn leaves so if you visit Korea and want to enjoy real Korean feeling that I recommend this mountain so how was today's lesson I hope you find it useful and interesting Ta -da! and next week we are going to talk about Korean conjugation. Yes, this is the one of the common questions that I get from Korean learners. Korean conjugation is very important part of Korean grammar. And I will teach you in easy way. So please don't worry and join us. If you want to be fluent, you need to know this Korean conjugation. And it will be October 11th, Thursday. It will be next Thursday at 1 p.m. in Korean time as usual. So Korean conjugation lesson will be not difficult, so please don't worry and join us. And again, please, please don't forget to download this. mention everyone did i forget <laughs> anyone if i if i forget your name please don't worry if you please join next week then i'll mention your name so thank you zenzo and beyond the scene caesar and see you next week